OSI model has break, broken down this complex process of the communication into seven layers. So for every org to work properly, OSI is just uh, pro provides a well-documented procedures that helps manufacturers or the developers to create better and reliable communication infrastructure. So earlier when there was uh, a OSI model wasn't developed, so inter-vendor inter communication was not possible. That means devices from different vendors were kind of like unable to communicate with each other. So if I explain it to you, suppose I have a machine of Apple, okay, I have a MacBook and consider that someone, a friend of mine might have a device of let's say Dell. So there are like both different manufacturer and we both know like they are in the IT industry for quite some time. So they are known for developing various hardwares and softwares that come along with their product. So earlier before the development of OSI model, all all of these uh, vendors, they kind of like used to create their own protocols. Each of them use a separate or different method for communication, which resulted in, in the inability to communicate between inter vendors. So what I'm trying to say, Apple use its own methods for communication and Dell use its own method for communication. So they kind of like devise their own way of sending data on the internet. So because there was no similarity, because kind of like they use their own uh, process, so they were unable to share information with each other. So this inter vendor communication was not a possible thing when we were actually communicating uh, before OSI model. So OSI model or the organization that is behind the development of OSI model, that is ISO, International Standardization Organization, studied this trend and they came up with a model that is known as OSI model. Now, OSI model is really simple if you look into it. So there are totally seven layers. 